Hello and welcome, this is Swerve from the Hot Yule support team. Today I am here to give you a tutorial of the new Advanced Territory Wars features. So first off, what does it do? What does the Advanced Territory Wars features do for you? So when we talk about the Advanced Territory Wars features, we often talk about a Discord governed way to track your battles you'll have your players reporting or requesting their battles for each battle in territory wars and then over time you will be ga gathering your track records for the different compositions you can see how you're doing with a certain team against another team over time and so forth it gives you a lot of statistics so that you can evaluate your territory wars performance Besides that, it also allows you to use the very popular command who has, which is a feature that allows you to know just how many of a certain team that you have left for your offense. So how this works is that as each of your player is reporting that they have used the team, the bot will know that this team was used offensively or already, so your player, that player doesn't still have the team available. So it removes from the total count of that team. So when you run the command you'll see that you have 32 Jedi Master Kenobi available still and if a player reports one of those teams it will count down until you know that you have no teams left available. Uh, there are basically two modes to uh, the Advanced Territory Wars tools. You have the report only which is a casual take on it where you have, leave the responsibility in the hands of your players to report each of their battles. You can do this in a few different ways. Either you force everyone to report all of their battles and you lock all of the zones in game so you can then see the difference between rogue actions and reported battles so you can see who's not reporting or not. Or you can take a more casual approach to it and uh, encourage your players to report their battles Keep in mind that doing it like this will not give you a full set of data for the Territory Wars. The who has command will not be 100% trustworthy because you will not have each of the battles reported. Then there is also the request mode. The request mode comes in two variants. You can have the one with auto approve or the one that is just request mode only. And the auto approve basically works like you have the request mode where your players have to request each fight but you have set counters in the bot so when they request a certain team it will be automatic automatically approved so they can play the fight. Uh, keep in mind that this is a pretty more uh, intensive on your players and on your officers because if you use the full request mode without auto approve all of your players will have to request each of their fights and then uh, territory wars officers will have to accept the fight before they are allowed to play it what this means is that you should always have a territory wars officer available to accept the fights that your players want to play otherwise it's going to hinder your progress in territory wars so this is for those really really decade guilds that are all about the territory wars so before we get started with the setting up the bot on discord you should definitely start adding your territory wars offensive teams to the site in order to make them show up in the list when you're using the bot, you need to go to squads and go to guild squads and then make sure you add the teams in the categories that is territory wars dash offense. So when you click add a squad, you need to use substitution squads for right now when this video is released, but we will make sure that pool squads are working in the future as well, but choose a substitution squad choose title remember that this title is what will be visible in discord when your users are trying to report with the team that you created so it could be a good idea to make it a little descriptive do you don't want to make it too long i think about 20 or 30 characters is where discord will start cutting off the description name on mobile devices so if I want to make another JMK team, despite the one I have in the background here, I can make it a little bit more descriptive and name it JMK plus cat plus GK. 
so then people will know that this is the team with Mace and this is the team with GK. And then, as I mentioned, make sure you choose the correct category, it has to be Territory Wars dash Offense, otherwise it won't show up in the list of teams. You can add other categories as well, but you need to have that one. Then you add the characters just like making any regular and regular squads. Now gear levels, relic requirements and stuff like that does not matter at all, so you can just leave it as the default. Also you don't need to add all of the 5 characters. There's some advantages to doing that, the who has command will work better for all of the squad members. Say if I don't add Kiadimundi Kia here and you're looking for who has Kiadimundi, people that use this squad will still show up even if they don't have it. However, the leader is the, the most important one and then uh, it could be a good idea to fill out the entire squad, but for some squads like bounty hunters or scoundrels and stuff like that, where you have a lot of different options, it's not really necessary to fill out all of them. Once you've done that, you can click save. Now this squad will be showing up in the Discord bot. If it doesn't, make sure to refresh your data on the site and you can try again, see if that resolves the problem. If not, you can reach out to support on the troubleshooting channel on our Discord. Once you have all the teams set up that you want to use, you can head on over to setting up the Discord side of things. After that, we're going to check out the basic setup for getting started with the Advanced Territory Wars tools. So basically, first off, you need a channel which will be your status channel and also the channel where players report and request their battle. And this channel needs, of course, Hotbot to be available. And it also needs all of your players to be able to post messages in the channel, otherwise they can't use commands. Some guilds prefer to have a status channel and a request slash report channel, but you can use the status channel to report. This is the recommended way to do it, since the report and request commands are only visible to the player that issues them. It will not spam the channel with other messages, so it's easy to see the team numbers and what you're supposed to report as you're writing out the command. So, recommended way to do it is to have the status channel as the request and report channel, and then have a separate channel which is the admin slash approve channel. As you can see here, I have a channel set up called Sphere Testing, which is my status channel. So to set up this, I will just type in the command. That is the full command that you want, slash channel TW summary true. Once that's done, you hit enter. Now the bot is going to respond that it has set the channel. Then for the approve slash admin channel, this channel does not have to be visible to all of your members. Hotbot needs to have access to it and also your officers. I have one called Swer Swerve Approval and in this channel we're going to do a similar command which is slash channel TW approve true. And this will set this channel as the approve and admin channel. And as you see you will be prompted by the bot again that it has set the channel. Now that you've set up the channels, you need to choose which mode you wish to use. You can do that by writing the command slash tw settings and then you choose the mode if you want report only, request without approval or request with admin approval. It's important to set your territory war settings before the war starts because if you do it during the war, you have to restart the war in the bot in order for the new settings to take effect. We're gonna start out by checking out the report only mode and then we're gonna go over to auto approval and admin approval as well. Once you have the channel set up and then you've chosen the territory wars mode that you want, then it's time to start the territory wars. You do this by using the command slash tw start. When the bot has started the territory war, you will see these messages in the chat. These will show up in the public chat that you use for status and reporting. This first message will be the header for the rest of the territory war. From here you can choose to update the data, or you can choose to stop this war by clicking delete. This will remove all of the open zones and take away the possibility to report any more battles. You can also see the different zones. Right now it's only zone 1 and 2 open, so there's only 2 zones. 
Once we unlock three zones, we will see the middle zone as well. First, before your players can report any battles, you need to open the zones. You do that by clicking the button Open next to the desired zone. When you do that, you'll see that the images changes. Now you'll have a bunch of numbers and player names next to the portraits of the teams available. Looking at this bigger picture, you can see that we have 9 teams led by the Lord Vader. You can also see the individual team compositions of each team by looking at the smaller portraits under the bigger portrait of Lord Vader. Of these yellow numbers is the team number for the, that team. This is what you'll need to remember when you're reporting your team. After the team number, you can see a number within brackets. This is the amount of attempts against that team that has already been done. So you can see that this team, 319, has been attacked once. You can also see that whoever attacked it killed two of the units. Down here, you can see a team with five attacks against it. But you can see that it is TM loaded, which means that there were no characters killed when they attacked it. After the yellow numbers indicating the, the squad number, you can also see the speed of the team. Or, and after that you can see the total amount of relic levels on the entire team. After that you see the name of the player that owns the team. And lastly, on the right hand side, you can see the data crons equipped on the team. First you see the level 3. It's a dark side, 4 debuffs gives cooldown reduction. This one you can see is a level 3 dark side, start turn with 2 buffs gives 5% offense. If it's just a level 2 that doesn't have any special abilities yet, you can see that there is a level 2 one. All of the teams will be sorted by leader. So you can see here we have 9 teams led by Lord Vader, then we have another 2 teams led by Jedi Master Luke Skywalker, and then we have the C teams and the Ray teams. You can also click to change zone display, which will change the second value here, which now is speed 566. As you can see at the top here, compare time stats, displaying the maximum speed on the team. Clicking change zone display will change what is displayed in that field. Once the zones are open, your players can start reporting battles against them. Which zones you open is up to you, and how you choose to play your territory wars tactics. A lot of people try to open as all of the zones as once, so people can try to dwindle them away. But if you're uncertain if you can clear both zones, it could be a good idea to keep one zone open and one closed. If you have a zone open that you wish to close, you simple, simply click the close button beneath the zone picture. To report a battle that you've played, you first need to find the team that you've played against in the picture. Let's say that we played against Katsubir here. Then we see that his number is numbered 121. So remember that number, head over to the message box, and then you type in report, enter the squad number. You can also get a lot of suggestions from the drop down here. Teams with the skull next to them was killed when the data was last updated, but that doesn't mean that your team is necessarily there with a skull on it. So find the team that you are looking for. In this case, we're going for team 121. And you can see here that the name matches Katsu Bear. He has 290 speed and 23 relic levels. After that, I have to choose the team that I used. For this example, I only have the JMK team available to choose from, so let's choose that one. And then you hit enter to report. Then you will be prompted for the result of the fight. You can choose the amount of banners that you got when winning. You can choose if you failed and did not load turn meter. You can choose if you failed and killed a few of them. Or you can choose if you failed and didn't kill anyone and thus preloaded turn meter. In this case, we're gonna pretend that we failed and killed a few. I can then choose which of the characters that I killed from the team. You can select several if you killed several players. And once you're satisfied with your options, you click submit. You see the bot prompts you with reported with three kills. You can also see here that you're the only one that can see this message. So your other guildmates won't be spammed with messages when you're reporting your wins. 
Now that I reported the battle with an attempt and that I killed three characters, the bot will show that in the picture. As you can see here, the number 121 is now blue and it says after the team that there are three characters dead. Let's report against the same team again and we can choose the amount of banners that we got when we won. Let's see that we got 12 banners on our clear when clearing up the team. And as you can see, now the picture updated and removed the team from the picture. That is all for how you use the report only mode for the advanced Territory Wars feature. Now we're going to check out the request mode and the request auto approve. If you are using the Territory Wars advanced features with the request mode and auto approve, you need to set up counters for zones. So after you've opened your zones, you need to set up a counter. You do that by using the command slash tw zone. Then you choose the zone number. And then you choose counter team. After that you choose a team from the drop down menu. Once that's set you'll see that the post updates showing you that JMK is added as a counter. Now that you have a counter team set up for that zone, requesting with that team will automatically approve your request. So as you can see here I'm going to request a battle against squad number 109 using the selected counter team. I immediately get a direct message from the bot telling me that I can play the fight. I also get prompted to re report my result once I'm done. When using the request admin approval mode, you request the team as you do with auto approval, but then your officers will be prompted to accept or reject the team. They will see this picture with a comparison of the two teams, the, your team on the left side and the team you want to attack on the right side. Then they can choose to approve or reject the counter. Depending on what they choose, you will get a direct message telling you the decision. So if I choose to approve this one, I immediately get a direct message from the bot telling me that I can play the fight. I also get prompted to re report my result once I'm done. I can then also choose to withdraw the request if I change my mind. But let's say I play the fight and I won stunningly with 20 banners, so I report that. Your officers get prompted that you won the battle and how good it went. The picture is also updated and the team that you fought is removed. Each time you update the bot, it also fetches new data from the game, showing you if there are any teams that have been fought against or if there are turn meter loaded and so forth. Once you've started reporting your teams and your players are using the commands, you can use the who has command to see who has a certain squad left. There are a couple different options that you can choose from and play around with, but simply what you start out by doing is typing slash tw who has, and then you can choose either tune, team, all teams, update, notify and choose to use it for an alt as well from there. Selecting team and then choosing a certain team. You can also choose to add update and notify. If you choose to update, it will fetch the latest data from the game and break your connection. You can choose to notif notify any players that still has the certain team left to use. As you can see here, the bot just tagged all of the players that has the team left. It also gives you a nice list of the players that has it available, showing you how many remaining there are as well.